Hi guys, welcome to the second part of our tutorial. We are going to continue to make our little game. So please open your file that we created the last time. And uh, let's check how we're going to move further. You can move right into the patch editor. And what I'm gonna do first of all, I'm going to um, I'm going to group these two patches. Uh, it's the collider 3D position and moving a looping patch. And I am going to give it a name, which will be Collider. I'm sorry, but something is so small and my eyes are not the best. So yeah, here we go. And now we're going to move forward with uh, actually creating the logic uh, around how the score is going to be counted. And uh, uh, what we need for that is we're actually going to need the positions of the collider and the bird itself, so the stars and the bird, because yeah, that's the only way actually uh, we can figure out what the time or what's the, what's the position when they are actually colliding. So we want the game to end, and um, what are the positions? What's the position when the collider is passing um, the bird, or the bird is actually dodging um, the star? So we actually want a score to be counted. So uh, what I would do, I will go into the group of character animation, so the animation of the bird, and I am going to add a, uh, I think I'm going to add a uh, arm pack. And then we're going to go back to the main we click here and then we add a group property we're going to add the output oh sorry click here and the output is going to be um, what position of the bird or just position in this case and it's just gonna be number i'm going to add position x because we're actually going to need uh, to uh, the position of the two coordinates two coordinates so the x and the y coordinates we're going to need and we're going to add x position here and we're going to add another output called the y position which is going to be also just a number right and you just click here and you see you added two outputs Oh, we can actually, I think we can actually <laughs> remove these. So, or I'll just remove this unpack and then we're just going to use this this already existing unpack patch. And then you connect the X to the X and the Y to the Y. So it's going to pick up the, the coordinates along these axes. We go back to the main. So this is good. And now we're going to also need to do the same for the colliders because we are going to need the position of that as well. So, um, the unpack, um, here I would probably add the unpack. Right, so it picks up the data, the X and the Y and the Z. Cool. Okie dokie, we go back to main, we click on group properties and we're going to add two outputs again. Um, these are going to be the same as the previous one, so position x and position y, y o y, all the righty, and then when you enter this, they are going to float here, and we're just going to have to connect it to the unpack patch, x to the x, y to the y, here we go. Let me go back to the main and then we start thinking, right, okay, so we have to figure out what we want to do and we want the game to end when the X of this, uh, the bird and the X of the collider are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the patch called equals and you connect the X of the bird here and the X of the collider here and then we're going to enter tolerance. And well, I was playing, you will have to play around with this depending on your game, but I figured this for me 0 
would work the best and then we also want to know when because obviously it's gonna be like we need to coordinate it's gonna have like longer the vertical and horizontal you see we're always going to also going to have to take into account um, uh, if the y positions are the same because obviously <laughs> only if uh, the x and the y are the same they would collide uh, so y here the other here and I'm going to add the same tolerance 0 0.03 good and then we're going to move on and we're going to add an end patch so when the x <coughs> when the x and the y are the same within this tolerance it's going to trigger the game over and then we're going to add a switch which is going to add the pulse automatically which is good and then actually we want the game over um, banner or picture to be triggered and how we are going to do that well we're going to have to add an object here um, I'm just going to add the plane in this case and then we're going to add the material create new material and we click on it we're going to name it game or noise and we change it to flat and I told you in the beginning that you're going to have to have a picture of a, yeah, your game over scene so I'm going to choose my file this is it see and it's going to appear here obviously you're going to have to wait I'm going to rename this as well game over so you're going to have to uh, resize it I just do it this way because I find it easier move it a bit Oop. okay good enough and then we're going to make it Okay, so uh, you're going to have to create a patch for this. Is you stand on the plane, and then you click on visible, and then it's gonna go here. See? Okay. And then we're going to we now have to going to think of how we want to have the score to be counted. So. Um, I'm not gonna play around long because I tell you now that you're going to have to create a uh, script for that. Um, I'm going to include this script on my website and you can download it from there. Um, uh, how you add the script, you just click on here and then you click on script. Here we go. And then you're going to click on to script and then it's gonna be a number and we're going to name it score in this case. We're going to get back to it in a little bit. So um, now we're gonna deal with the patch editor. And um, actually we want the score to be counted once, um, once these uh, criteria are not uh, actual. So how I'm gonna do it and please feel free to actually tell me if you have a better ID, but this is what I came up with. So what I'm going to do is that we're going to add the patch code greater than. And we're going to connect the X of the bird and the X of the collider animation here. And we do the same with the Y values coordinates. So connect it here. Uh, we're going to do the year. Good. And then after that, we're going to add an end patch because we want both of these criteria to be true in order for a point uh, or score to be given. We're going to add a counter, which is going to add the pulse, and then it's going to increase. Um, we're going to edit the maximum count to 99 for example or you can add as many as you want 
and we also want the counter to be to jump to zero once the game over criteria are actual so we're going to connect this switch to the jump and also add suppose which is fine or we could actually make it from the pulse and then to the jump which actually means that if the bird and the collider are crashing then it's going to reset the counter to zero you can add you can add the number here whatever you would like to but i guess it's the best if we leave it at zero okay and now it's the time that we move on and we deal with how the points or scores are actually going to be displayed uh, in the game so what you're going to have to do is that you stand on the face checker and then you add a canvas um, i'm gonna move it up because otherwise it can get um you know hidden behind all these other assets so we're going to add the, the canvas under the face checker and then we're going to add a 2d text and what i want you to do is that you're going to have to change the mode to word space and not camera space and once you've done this then we're going to call this score and then we're going to add another one another 2d text under the canvas with just so this one we're also going to call the score right and i actually want to um i want to warn you that it's important that you call this uh, score and number because these are going to be connected to the words we are going to have in our script and if uh, the words are not exactly the same then the script will not run so that's something for you to know and well, the first we're gonna do is we're going to type here score it is going to appear here as you can see on the screen but the positioning is not the best so we're going to have to pull it up a little bit and i'm also going to um change uh, the font type to facebook um, this is good facebook narrow regular and i'm going to add another color uh, we go on the other um text and it's gonna be called uh, it's just gonna be number like zero Oh wait, it's actually supposed to be under the face tracker. Here. So then you have the when you have the text attached to your head, to your face. So I am going to repass it again because I think it's too high. I'm going to stop it here. Move it a little bit lower one as well all right we'll do for now and right so we've got this uh what's next to do um well we're going to have to move back to the script uh, we've just talked about we have to name it score and it has to be uh, the number format and then we're going to have to add a script now in order to add a script you have to click here and you're going to have to have a um, JavaScript uh, program installed on your computer. In my case, I think it's called Brackets. Yeah, this is the one. I got it from the um, from the App Store. And as you can see, it's already filled in. This is the standard script that comes with uh, um, Spark AR. You often have problems here under, but just ignore it for now. And as I said, I'm going to share the script with you, the one you will have to insert here. So I'm just going to uh, comment A and delete everything. And I'm going to go to my um, pages and I'm going to copy and paste this. This is the one you're going to get from me as well. There we go. And then you're going to have to save your brackets or your um, script file. I just click, click on save. I'm going to give you errors, but yeah, just ignore for now. And then you can close it. Okay. And in order to connect the script to your uh, score counter, you're going to have to click on the arrow before the score and then connect it to your counter, which is great. So let's see what happens now.
checking. No, we're going to check if uh, if it's actually working as uh, we want it to work. So see, see, it started counting the scores, and then when it collides, then it's going to jump back to zero. No, it's me. Okay, I killed everything, so it's not working now, it's just animation running. So the one thing I want to tell you is that Sparky R is not looking at this bird as we see it. So Sparky R doesn't see um, the distance between the beak and the tail feathers and the wingspan. So for Sparky R it's just one point in this whole dimension, I'd say. And you would expect it, for example, that the game is game over once uh, the little star is actually touching the beak of the um, of the bird or it goes through the body of the bird but this is not the case because this is not how spark here is looking at it who's messaging me and uh, i know that there is a way to actually achieve that but i think that's actually done with scripting and i'm at the moment not really good at scripting so uh so yeah, this is just something I want to tell you ahead, just not to get frustrated because in the beginning when I created, when I started creating this game, I was like, I didn't understand why Sparky R would not just um, display the game over. I so I wanted it to be displayed because because I thought that, okay, yeah, listen, uh, the star is going through the body of the bird and why is it not game over? But as I told you, Sparky R sees this bird as one point uh, and it does not... Uh, it does not consider the this, yeah the actual bird as we're looking at it now. So um, yeah, this is all I just, this is all I just wanted to say, and I hope you like this video and leave your comments down below. I'm going to um, put the link to my website where you can download the script from. This script is actually coming from Marvel Studios, so I'm going to link him also down below. And I hope you have fun with it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And just keep going, guys, and keep creating, and have a good day. I see you next time. Goodbye.